Let's make an electric guitar out of an air conditioner. It sounds like this. So as you can hear in this cue, it's functioning more like a muted baritone guitar, but it sounds really good in the upper register and with sustained notes as well. You can download this preset along with 150 other useful presets in my pack called Sounds You Know. A link to that's in the description. So to get started, initialize preset, turn off oscillator one, Turn on the sample, and you'll find the HVAC unit under Factory. So there's a lot of work to do. Turn on filter 1, go to the comb filter, and choose Low High Flange Plus. Turn up the resonance all the way, route in just the sample, turn up key tracking all the way, and let's hear this. So what's happening is filter 1 our comb filter is filtering out anything that's not within the harmonic series of whatever note we're playing, uh, and it's filtering those uh, frequencies out from this HVAC unit. So what we're left with are frequencies in the harmonic series, or at least frequencies that are really close to it. So now let's make this a little bit more plucky. Let's use envelope 2. So click on envelope 2, let's set the hold value to 0.01. And let's set the decay value to 0 0.13. Lower the sustain all the way and drag on this point to make it more steep. Now turn down the level all the way on the sample. Drag over envelope 2 so that controls the level of our sample. Let's do that. So now it's sounding a little bit more like a guitar. One thing we can do to help is turn up, uh, the spread all the way down to 0 so that the sound is in mono. That way it sounds more like it's coming from one source. So now let's add in some tremolo. I'm going to use LFO2 since I usually use LFO1 for vibrato. Let's set the unit to seconds. Right click on the uh, amount and let's set this to 0 0.15. Hold shift and drag this over to our master fader. And then make sure your Y grid is set to 2 so you can drag this point down to the middle. Now let's control the tremolo amount with macro 1. So drag over macro 1 to the tremolo amount. Let's set the maximum amount of tremolo to 0 0.5. And then let's set macro 1 to 0 0.225. And let's label this. So it gives it that wobble effect. Now let's add in some more filters. Turn on filter 2, drag the blend all the way over to the right, this is a high pass filter, lower the resonance all the way to 0, turn up key tracking to 100%, route in just filter 1, and then set the cutoff to 7. So it sounds really thin now, and we're going to add another filter that makes the sound pretty dull, but it helps shape our sound once we put it through the distortion, we'll get a lot more of those high frequencies, and our compressor will bring out those high frequencies. So let's add in another filter in the effects section, turn down the resonance all the way, set the cutoff to 24. Now let's add in a distortion, make sure the distortion comes after the filter, so reorder them. I'm going to assign macro 2 to the drive here, and then I'm going to set the amount of macro 2 to 0 0.395. Let's do this. Now we're getting a little bit more of those high frequencies in there. Uh, turn on the filter, the post filter, turn down the resonance all the way and set the cutoff to 119. So in the upper register, we don't get as many harsh frequencies, uh, which will be more problematic once we turn on the compressor. So turn on the compressor, set the uh, amplitude of the low band to five and keep the middle and high bands where they are. You can turn off these by double clicking them uh, we only want downwards compression. So for the low band, let's change the threshold to about negative 45. 
And then the middle band, let's set that to about negative 34. And then for the high band, let's set that to about negative 42. Now let's decrease the ratio for these bands. By clicking and dragging up, you'll see that the uh, horizontal lines get further apart. You'll have to kind of just eyeball this. And then uh, let's hear this. Now, uh, it's, we're getting some of those high frequencies back in, but let's back off on the mix here. It sounds a little bit unnatural. So we're just gonna drop that down to 0 0.6. And that sounds a little bit better. Now, this is something you kind of need to do to taste because it's really hard uh, to even drag this to the same threshold uh, every time. Um, and it's especially hard to get the ratio the same since you're kind of just eyeballing it based on the density of these horizontal lines. So now let's go back to voice and let's use the velocity. Let's use the velocity to control different parameters. So one thing we can use it to control is the cut of the comb filter. So I'm going to set the cut to 33 and I'll show you what this does. Drag over the velocity to cut and set that modulation amount to 32. And let's hear what lower velocities sound like versus high velocities. So you'll notice that uh, the cut, when it's higher, you're gonna get more resonance in the upper register and it's gonna ring out for longer. So basically, uh, it's a good way for us to control muting, muting of a guitar. The lower cut values are gonna sound more muted, so those are gonna be assigned to lower velocities. One side effect you'll also notice is when we turn up the cut here, the pitch goes a little bit sharp. So we can offset that by setting the cutoff to 0.2, so that the lower velocity, lower cut values are a little bit sharper. And then drag over velocity over to this cutoff and set that modulation amount to negative 0.3 so that when we turn up the cut here with higher velocities, we're also lowering the pitch. So let's hear that. So it's a little bit better, uh, a little bit more consistent uh, with the pitch. So let's uh, modify a little bit more with the velocity. We can change the uh, envelope of our sample with the velocity as well. So we're gonna change the decay. Hold shift and drag velocity over to decay. Right click on that modulation amount and set this to 0 0.225. And let's hear that. And now you'll hear a lot more of the sample at higher velocities, which sounds harsh. It sort of sounds more like the twang uh, of a guitar string. And one other thing we can do since envelope 2 is controlling just the sample level, it's not controlling the amplitude of our sustain because our sustain is coming from the resonance of this filter. So if we want to control uh, how long the overall sound is or the decay of it, uh, we can do that with the mix of filter 1. So set the mix of filter 1 down to 0, then drag over envelope 3. And on envelope three, let's set the hold to 0 0.03, and let's set the decay to 1.3. Turn down the sustain all the way, give it a little bit more curvature. And now let's set uh, velocity, same thing, hold shift, drag it over to the decay of envelope three. And for this modulation amount, let's set this to 0 0.395. And let's hear that difference. One more thing we can do with velocity, let's set uh, higher velocities to be brighter. So we're going to increase the cutoff of the effects filter with velocity. So hold shift to make it bipolar, drag that over to the cutoff of the effects filter, and let's set that uh, modulation amount to 32. And let's hear that. Now, 
if you want, you can add in more effects like delay and reverb. Uh, but like I was saying earlier, since we've lowered the spread to zero, uh, it'll be in mono. So I would recommend adding those effects after vital, outside of vital, so that they're not in mono as well. And one more thing that you can do, uh, if you're going to have this preset play the same note over and over again, especially if it's going to be at a pretty consistent velocity, is you can kind of get like a uh, round robin effect, which is something uh, sample libraries will do uh, to kind of avoid that machine gun like effect you get from playing a sample over and over. They'll have a few different samples at each velocity uh, to give it a more natural human like feeling because when a human's playing a guitar, it's not going to sound the exact same every time. So in order to accomplish that, you can click this random thing here, which makes the sample start at a different point every time you play the note at a random place. So that sounds like this. So what you'll hear is, is different harmonics start coming out a little bit more. Um, you could also set uh, the random here on the uh, fine pitch and decrease this maybe to about one. And that's going to change the pitch of the HVAC unit, but it's not going to change the pitches that are coming from the resonance of our filter. So it's not going to sound out of tune, it's just going to have a slightly different timbre. So let's hear that. And that's a little bit more of a subtle way to do it. So anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thank you for watching.